So this is me last year when we built an AAU team in under two weeks. A lot of people watched us play against Rod Wave Elite, but sadly we suffered a catastrophic loss. So this year I'm on a mission to build it out even better. Step one though is we need to figure out what our jerseys are gonna look like. And don't worry, we have two massive recruiting trips coming up later in this video where we meet with some of the best players in the country. But let's get these jerseys done first. See, I made some jerseys last year and they were actually pretty cool. But I knew if we wanted to get even better players this season, we are gonna need to take it up a notch. So I headed over to TikTok to see if there are any graphic designers that would wanna help us with our journey. I offered $500 to the person who could make the best jersey out there and within a few days the entries started piling in out of all the entries we got i slimmed down the options to just six and these were all like sick options kid snapped option one here is from peter b creative now this one is straight heat i didn't think of the red as a base but with the black and white stripes the gothic fonts he kind of went crazy and plus the shorts come on option two here is from stargazer jerseys now this dude actually cooked up a few but this is the first one. It's got blocky gothic font on the front with the halo and star stuck in between. We also get the prayer hands above with the numbers on the back. Dude went off. I can't really lie. This one, this one's awesome. Option three here is from Jacob Morgan. Now, this reminds me of like a 90s all-star jersey with the stars on the side. And I really like the detail of the star with the eye on the font. Plus, he threw in the matching pants to go with it. Prayer hands on the waistbands. Jake. Great work all around. Option four though is from Graphic Visions. Now I love the detail in the stripes here and the side stripe on this thing goes absolutely crazy. But the final two options, they are from Stargazer Jersey once again. The option five is a classic all hail with mismatched stripes and the numbers on the back match it really well. Option six though was definitely his most creative. You can see here, he's got the star on the I and the halo on an A. And I absolutely love the italicized number on the front and back. So what we did, I ended up taking all these. I posted them on TikTok. I asked you guys to comment your favorite. I also ran some polls. And we had thousands of votes processed from all platforms, which took me like forever to tally up. And by the end of it, the results were here. And drum roll, everybody. Peter B. Creative and Option 1 took home the dub. Now, Stargazer Jersey and Peter are actually working together right now to mash up the winning jersey and one of Stargazer's jerseys, but you'll see that soon. Actually, coming from the past, they're gonna see that right now. Like I said, we took the two best options and we crafted, you guys ready? We crafted this masterpiece right here. You can see we still have the halo on the A, we got the star on the I, and we got the matching shorts to go with it. I mean, we really, really are going to be the best dressed team, I don't know, like in the nation. These are better than most NBA jerseys. And now that we have jerseys made and ready to go, before we head off to find some recruits, we need to find a place to host a tryout. Like, I don't know what gym in Pittsburgh we could do that at. Last year, we had it at Grit Athletics Complex. Oh, hell here. We're out here at Tryout Center. We got kids already pulling up. We just arrived. There's already about 20 kids waiting. We got three different courts running. We run out of the entire gym. Place was cool, had a ton of courts, but it was kind of in the middle of nowhere. And this year, we need the highest level place possible so we can have some legitimacy because I want to find the best. So here we were at Rise. They have state-of-the-art like everything. When you walk in, you get this massive concession stand, which will be open for tryouts, everybody. And you also have a middle training room, a nice spot for refs. The courts here are brand new since it just opened a few months ago. There's four courts, and they're each labeled with a number that represents an NBA superstar. Like you can see Kobe Bryant for court eight here, or Michael Jordan for court 23. Now, we're going to have tryouts here March 24th, 1 to 4 p.m., and obviously videos will be posted from that, so just saying. This place kind of has it all. I think this might be the one. We got four courts. Concession stands, we got bleachers, spectator area, training room, and they'll let us host as many kids as we want. This may be the spot, man. This place is dope. This might have to be home base. Now, as you can tell, I was excited by this news. We have our home for tryouts, but now it's time to head out and find the best talent. So the first player we are on the hunt for actually lives down in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is a 7-1 hooper that didn't even start playing basketball till just a few years ago and already got an invite to play for Team USA. See, this is Xavier Stanton. And just a few weeks ago, he became one of the highest rated centers in the country. The crazy part is to start this season, Xavier was outside of the top 150 player rankings and now he's in the top 25. Now, Xavion was just a skinny kid, new to the court without a ton of experience. He plays for Sierra Vista High School down in Las Vegas, and many thought he had some potential, but was still too small. However, after an insanely dominant performance with Team USA back in October, 
Xavier rose 120 spots in 24-7 sports ranking, up to number 22 in the nation, which means he's the second rated center in his class. Over that time, he's racked up offers from nearly every Power 5 school, and even recently, got the offer from Blue Blood Kansas. So I went out and watched him. Let me tell you, this guy is long. He can hoop, he can move, he had some freaky blocks, he really showed what it takes. So after the game, I ended up finding him and had to give him a little special gift so he remembers the old all hail when recruiting season comes around. Yeah, but I'm glad we got to come see you, man. Nah, I appreciate you coming out. <laughs> Awesome, dude. I'll definitely keep you updated. Yeah, man, let me know. Thank Take you. care. If you need hey, anything, just let me know. We will, brother. I'll peace. Ice, please. Now, meeting Xavion was awesome, but it was time to head to the Big Apple. See, there was a game going down between the two best high school basketball teams in the nation, Montverde Academy and Long Island Lutheran. Montverde is undefeated and features five five-star players alongside the number one player in the country, Cooper Flag. This team is really like that, maybe better than the 2020 Caden now. Wait, wait, my bird. that's Caden on bird. that's Caden on Caden on him. On the other side of the ball though, Long Island Lutheran, they are no joke. They are led by the top guard in the country, VJ Edgecombe, and feature some, uh, potential all hail prospects like four stars Alir Malou, Kayan Anthony, and Nigel James. The game was at 8 o'clock and my flight was supposed to land in Newark at 3.30. This would give me plenty of time to take the hour Uber ride over to Hoster University where the game was being held and we should have been good. But as things happened in an airport, my flight just kept getting delayed after delay, after delay. It eventually ended up not taking off to around 5.15, meaning we'd land around 6.30. And if you know anything about rush hour in New York traffic, that hour drive was definitely not gonna be an hour. So we were finally on the ground, but this was cutting it drastically close. It should be an hour 20 minutes away. It looks like it was BB like almost two. Holy crap, game starts in one minute, we made it. Got my suitcase. Suitcase and all out here. It's crazy. Now, luckily, as you saw, we ended up making it to Hofstra literally a minute before tip, and the employees were nice enough to let me hide my suitcase. So after that, I sprinted down the court to watch this thing unfold. started with five-star Liam McNeely going absolutely ballistic from three and five-star Derek Queen was dominating down low but Luhai they wouldn't go away easy no 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 Nigel James was absolutely on fire early on and got tough bucket after tough bucket but then it happened Cooper Flagg got the ball at the top of the key he crosses his defender over dropping him to the floor Cooper then hits a step back looks at the rim and drains a three this sent Montverde on an absolute run and when five-star Asa Newell checked in off the bench you just know that's gonna be too much Luhai attempted the comeback following a Kai and Anthony three and a run by Caden Mingo. Mom Verd, they proved to be too much yet again. Now, after the game, I stayed and actually chopped it up with a bunch of the players. But I can't quite show you who just yet. Just know you're going to like them. And uh, I think they're coming to Pit Jam April 19th here in Pittsburgh for Team All Hail. But this was our final stop to the journey. We headed back home and now we're sitting here with just two weeks left before our tryout March 24th. We're taking all ages, sixth grade and up, because we'll have a middle school team soon. We are looking for the most underrated talent in the nation. So if that's you, make sure you hit the event button and come show us what you got. Also, if you want to watch what happened in our tryout last year, we had one-on-ones and things got absolutely crazy. You can watch that right here. But until then, Team All Hail is growing. So make sure you click subscribe and follow along for the journey. I'll be posting more updates just like this.